plaintiff, Kayla Cressy, was friends with the defendant. But Kayla claims she's nothing but a con artist who was addicted to pornography and heroin. So much so that she shot heroin in her feet before and after her pregnancy. Kayla is suing her former friend for breach of contract and emotional distress. Defendant Kayla Cooper admits she was a heroin addict, but claims she has been clean for six years. Kayla claims the plaintiff has done nothing but harass and stalk her. She's countersuing for payments on a vacuum and harassment. Start with you. Go ahead, Your Honor. I have known the defendant since the end of 09. Um, she is a con artist. She's a known thief, not only <laughs> by me, known thief. Yeah, not only ahead. by me, but by my witness right here. All she right. stole thirty-six thousand dollars from her grandparents by credit cards. That's a lie. And she has it. proof of that as well. Okay. Um, she is a recovering porn, weed, and heroin addiction addict. Whatever you want to call it. Porn, porn. weed, and, and heroin. heroin. And wow. she. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Um, she used to shoot up in her foot during, before, and after pregnancy. No, that's and, completely um, false, Your Honor. Completely false. She also moved in her family member who smokes crack and weed. Um, that's I actually, well. she does not take anything serious. I actually have something that she posted today on Facebook saying that she's here just to have fun. And I have that right here. Well, you certainly, when you come in here, you're likely to have fun. So. Well, I just don't feel like she's being serious at about your own the expense. Whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Your Honor, in my defense, that was not um, as in having fun here. It's I'm having fun as Correct. in I came to Chicago, I spent all day yesterday with family, and I had fun. All right. Why don't you uh, discuss some of these allegations or refute them or what have you? Absolutely, Your Honor. Uh, as Kayla said, we became friends in the end of 2009, and um, we were originally roommates for a short time. Uh, after... But she failed to pay me last month's rent, by the uh, way. No, I definitely did pay a year later. Ma'am, let her finish. Sorry. Okay. So um, after we had became or, uh, been roommates and we went our separate ways, we remained friends for a short time, and uh, we had our ups and downs like any friendship does. But Kayla be started to become very possessive, oh very um, stalkerish. <laughs> she harasses me, obviously, as you can see today. She was stalking me on Facebook. No, actually, as I was sitting my in your call room. That. My friend <laughs> sent me that. As okay. I was sitting in your call room, Your Honor, she sent me three friend requests, which each one I denied, I and then not. I found that on the couch in the call room. Seriously, I never did. Heroin af during my pregnancy or after. I will admit, Your Honor, I used to be a heroin addict and I used to smoke pot. That is correct. When I got pregnant, I became clean. I've been clean for almost six Good. years. In August, it'll be clean and sober for six years. Good. I take my sobriety very seriously. Her and her to this day still smoke pot, Your Honor. Oh, really? So if you want like to drug test me right now, I'd here. be clean. Like, okay. I'm not saying I've never smoked it. I know you smoke weed. Be quiet. Well, I'm saying I've never <laughs> After all, I'm Your Honor, we are from Colorado where it is legal. <laughs> I'm saying I'm currently not. Go ahead. Not. No. Okay, and um, I would Now, not that it's illegal, but what about that porno? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Your Honor, I have no idea. Like, I'm a Christian woman. You're and a Christian I, woman. I am. Oh, I'm you a definitely watch dogs. No. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> What you do? <laughs> For what? You a saint? What do you do? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna deny. I've smoked weed before. Who hasn't? But I am not doing that. Like I have in the past. Like, like I said, you can drug test me. I'll be clean. All right. Um, you have anything to say about her? I do, Your Honor. Go like ahead. I said, she's constantly harassing me, constantly oh, stalking I, I, me um, so much that I've had to call the cops on her, and they had to threaten to arrest I have her something, to stop. Okay? I have something. Safe. I have voicemails from her, and she's giving her, my phone number out to people to have them call I and really harass me as well. And no. I actually do have. Um, um, voicemails to play today. Um, she's constantly, she out texts herself, Your Honor. My phone can hold 300 or 200 text messages from one person, and in three days' time, she will out text that 200 that so they start so disappearing. Much. Oh, Your my Honor. God. No, um, I'm she, sorry. she sits outside my house to the point where my roommate is serious? wanting to find a new place because she, we feel threatened. <laughs> we're, you can know, I say as soon as we get paid, we're putting a restraining order on her because she sits outside of our apartment waiting <laughs> for us to come out. I have statements from several friends who will tell you that she's. <laughs> Do is just laugh at that this, she hasn't honestly. been invited to because she would be like, why didn't I get an invite? And I have proof of her sh um, saying why that on Why is she Facebook. doing all this? Like I said, she became very possessive, Are Your you Honor. Serious? Obsessive. There's no obsessive. possessive. Yeah. That sounds obsessive. Can I, can, I, can I defend myself in all this? Yes, ma'am. 
First of all, I had no time to stalk anybody. I'm a full-time student. I babysit full-time. I had no time to do anything. I have a text message saying she only did because she well, was Well, tell me about the situation, me. what you're suing on. That's yes. what you refer. Tell me about it. Okay, so in October 2011, I co-signed for her to get a Kirby vacuum cleaner. 2012, Your Honor. Or two thousand. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, 2012. Um, I co-signed for her for a vacuum cleaner. It was supposed to be in both of our names for the finance company, and the money was going to come out of her bank account. Well, come January, I get a notice saying it's going to go to collections because no payments have been made. I called the finance company and I found out that it's only in my name. I contact her. She had issues. I said I'd make the first payment because it was my credit. I did not want it to go to collections. She, I have text messages and money orders from what she has already paid me for it because she said that she was going to pay me and I was going to pay the finance company because I can only make the payments at that time until we figured out what was going on since it was supposed to be in both of our names. Um, I had the money orders that she sent. She has only given me a total of $125. I had the Kirby owner registration saying that the Kirby is hers. I have a picture, like it's not the exact one, but I have a picture of what all comes with it. Okay. And sh your lawsuit against her is for how much regarding the uh, vacuum cleaner? Um, the breach of contract is for the $2,905 because right. she has paid a total of $125. And that's the amount that's due? Yes. All right, ma'am, what do you say to this? Your Honor, um, I do not feel I owe Ms. Cressy for the vacuum cleaner. She, um, she is correct in saying that we were, it was supposed to be both of our names on the agreement. Um, I wanted to return it. There's um, something in the contract. Then why didn't she return it? Ma'am? Sorry. The person um, who sold it to us had said that we could return it, I believe it was within 14 days. Um, it's three and days. I said, I need to return this vacuum cleaner. I can't afford it and I don't want to be held responsible for it. The original agreement was that we were supposed to go halves on it, Your Honor. Oh, she no. was supposed to that pay 50, not... I was supposed to pay 50, no. and we were going to use it. No. I had the income, she had the credit, and that was the only way that we what could do you mean get approved we're for use it. it. We were going Why would to I share use a vacuum cleaner? Like if, if she needed to use the vacuum cleaner for like cleaning her couches or steam cleaning or whatever, because it's also a steam cleaner, Your Honor. So she would get the opportunity. To use it when so she every time to she in. wanted to vacuum her uh, home, she'd have to come and get the or vacuum cleaner. Or vice from versa. You. So if she I had have a vacuum never and been I needed it, like it. I would go and get you it. You have carpet? So, no, I have she, hardwood floors. She does have ca carpet. In I have bedroom, a big little area of rug. You have one at home? A vacuum? Yes, I have a vacuum cleaner at home. All right. I should have brought a picture of it. Uh, but I she do have a also <laughs> does have carpet in her bedrooms, Your Honor. Oh, yeah, she in the bedroom. She it, said the main she has purpose. a vacuum of her own also. Correct, and she said the, ma the main Correct. reason why. Then I'm why sorry. would she have to go in <laughs> half with you? Because it's a very, it is a very nice vacuum cleaner that no. turns into a steam cleaner as well. She has to be several animals, and she wanted so to be So she was going to pay half well. for a vacuum and had her own. I had my own as well, Your Honor. So these, why did you why get another one? Yeah, $3,000 vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I know, like, <laughs> these vacuum cleaners, like they, like I said, they turn into steam cleaners as well, but they're also supposed to be, like, top of the line for allergies. Mm -hmm. So your defense to not paying is what? Is that I had asked her numerous times to return it, and because she didn't return it, and she you didn't, didn't buy it from her. Time, and I wasn't even in possession you of it. You didn't buy it from her. I, I did not buy it. it. No, no, I did not buy it from her. Well, you got to return so it to the place that you that's purchased Kirby's it from. And I tried to, and they told me that I was not allowed to. It had to come from Kayla. When did you do that? When did you do that? I attempted to return it. I believe it would have been around the first of November. Okay. But they had told me that uh, it had to be what? Kayla Cressy to return it because it's her the name. The contract states right here. It has to be returned within three business Let's days see it. of. Um, and this is hers too. So she signed one too. She signed one also. Because I found out that my information was the only one that got to the finance company. It was supposed to be in both of our names. That's why I said that she had the contract right here. And then I also had the owner registration, which proves that the Kirby's only hers. <laughs> but I have the owner thing saying that the Kirby You all is are jointly hers. liable. So, Your you Honor, want 3205? Divide that by two. Your Honor, You're I jointly liable. Can I say You're something? You're both signed. No, you can't. No. 1602 50. What is your counterclaim for? Um, Your Honor, my roommate, I have a letter here from several friends who have witnessed her harassing me. Let's we start with to... the vacuum payments. Okay. okay, the vacuum payments, Your Honor. Like I said, I had asked her to return the vacuum cleaner. No, uh -huh. she And she refused to re return it in uh -huh. the time that we were allowed. Mm -hmm. And so my thoughts on that is obviously she still wanted it, that she was refusing to return oh, it. I, I've never had possession. You say it. the reason you couldn't return it is because because your name wasn't on it. Yes, sir. Look at here and see if you recognize your name. Absolutely. Like yeah, I then said, why would you tell me it's not on there? Can I get your claim is dismissed. 160250 for you. Half. Okay. All right. Good luck. Bye-bye.
like I say, she's lying. I don't have time to stalk her. Like, I have a busy schedule. She's a con artist. She, she has not only done this to me, she has done it to many other people. And not just the one where she stole $36,000 from the credit card. Like, yeah, that's considered credit card fraud, and I wouldn't have a job working for a fraud okay. department for a major she credit could card not, that was She true. could not That make... is defamation, and I will take you to court okay. and sue you for that. And you also will be going to court with Tori, and you will be going to jail.